This is Nigel from nextlevelguitar.com. Amps are still on 11 and uh, there's plenty of sustain in here. So what we're going to do now is a fairly straightforward blues lick, um, again based in E pentatonic, uh, although my guitar is tuned to E flat, um, so I guess it's E flat pentatonic. Um, it's a fairly easy connecting lick that we can connect different ideas, um, move around the fretboard a little bit, um, and it's something that you'll hear a lot of blues players play. Um, because it's a, it's a good sounding, cool sounding lick and you can play with it, uh, spice it up a bit. So what we'll do now is I'll play the lick for you uh, and then we'll pull it apart and you can take it home with you. <laughs> So that's it. This is a very straightforward lick, as I say. Um, I guess E flat pentatonic because of the guitar tuning. Um, and what we'll do now is just go in a little bit. Um, there's a little bit of a few bends in there. You can add a few more bends. You can add vibrato. So uh, this is a 12th fret. I guess this guitar doesn't make it uh, all that straightforward. But this is a 12th fret here, 15th fret here. And what we're going to do is we're going to start on the 14th fret of the D string. And it's the first part of the lick. So all we're doing is we're we're going from the 14th fret to the 12th fret, and then adding some vibrato. And then we're going to the 14th fret of the A string, back up to the 12th fret of the D string. And then we're just hitting the 14, 13, 12th fret of the A string. Bit of vibrato there if you want it. And then we're moving the hand down to the 12th, uh, to the 10th fret on the A string. And then we're going. So we're going from the 12th, uh, from the 10th fret to the 12th fret on the A string. Doing a half tone bend and then releasing it to the 10th fret. And then we're down to the 12th fret on the E string, the low E. So, so we're going. So half half tone bend on the 12th fret on the A string. Release it to the 10th, then back up to the 12th, and then drop onto the, the 12th fret of the E string, back to the 10th on the A, and a half tone bend, back to the E string on the 12th fret. Okay, so. So I'll play the whole lick uh, a little bit slowly and hopefully uh, my insane ramblings will make sense to you and you'll be able to pick up what I'm talking about. So here's a lick again, um, slowly. reasonable speed. So we've got a few things in there, we've got a few half bends, we've moved around a little bit and it's a nice connecting lick for when we're playing up here a little bit and you want to connect, go a bit further down the neck and it's just a little bit of a, a connecting lick. It's nothing uh, fancy and it's something you'll hear a lot. Um, I'm certainly not claiming authorship. <laughs> So uh, what I'll try and do is just noodle around a little bit and show you how this connecting lick can, you can work it into uh, connecting between licks, you can move around the guitar and how it gives you kind of a cool sound and a very bluesy sound. So uh, let's see what rubbish I can come up with. <laughs> Nigel 
for uh, nextlevelguitar.com. Again, make sure you go to the website. There's a lot of good stuff out there to help you become a better guitar player. And the sustain! And the sustain! Here it is. Can you hear the sustain? So, uh, watch for more videos on YouTube, and I hope you become uh, better, better guitar players because of watching these videos.